governor has returned! Luis. Welcome home, Rafael. It has been too long. Too long, my friend. You said once you favored me above all. Consider this a fool's apology for ever doubting you. Come. A crowd has gathered to greet you. Don Pedro. Don Rafael, welcome. You're looking well. Thank you. <laughs> Don Hector. Welcome back, sir. Don Julio. Bienvenido a casa. Gentlemen. Please, please. I know that you're not really happy to see me. So let us all stop pretending, shall we? You think I don't know that you've been paid? Even threatened to come out in the hot sun and greet me? I understand exactly how you feel. Why should you care about any of your leaders, past or present? What did they ever do for you? The Spaniards oppressed you. The Mexicans ignored you. And the Dons, well, the Dons, the Dons. The Dons seem merely content to cheat and lie to you. <laughs> in fact, I put it to you. Who in your entire history has ever helped you? Zorro! Zorro fought for the people. <laughs> ah, yes, Zorro. Where is he now, Padre? Your masked friend. Unless I'm mistaken, he hasn't shown himself in 20 years. 20 years! People of California, the time has come to take our destiny into our own hands. Not as Spaniards, not as Mexicans, but as Californians! I stand here before you today with no mask, only a pledge. A solemn pledge that I will never abandon you. And you have my word, the word of Rafael Montero, that I will do everything within my power to help you fight for a free and independent California. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce my daughter, Elena. Thank you. Can anyone tell me what this flower is? I know this scent. Si, sí, senorita. It's called Romania. But it only grows in California. And I believe this is your first visit to our shores. He's dead. A 
I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why should you be sorry? You should not trade something like that for a mere glass of whiskey. Why not? You think I could get two? <laughs> Who's that? That's the man looking my brother. You're drunk and you're angry and no condition to fight a professional soldier. Get out of my way, you old man. Again. Oh, you're welcome. For what? For saving your life. I would have killed him. No, not today. He is trained to kill. You seem trained to drink. Yes, my friend, you would have fought very bravely and died very quickly. Who then would avenge your brother? I would have found the way. I've never lost a fight. Except to a crippled old man just now. What is your name? Alejandro. Alejandro. You know, there is a saying, a very old saying. When the pupil is ready, the master will appear. Now, if you want to kill this man, I can help you, and I can teach you how, how to move, how to think, how to take your revenge with honor and live to celebrate it. It will take dedication, it will take time. Why are you so eager to help me? Because once, a long time ago, you did the same for me.